Welcome to another episode of the Hermit Poetry Series. I'm Neil Aiken, and on this channel I read poetry, mostly work by contemporary poets, occasionally poems of my own, and once in a while poems from the past. Today's poem comes to us from Jennifer Kwan Dobbs from Paper Pavilion, published by White Pine Press in 2007. It was winner of the White Pine Press Poetry Prize. Um, this poem is entitled Questions for a Flame of Fire Out of a Bush. and begins with an epigraph from Exodus 4.1. Then Moses answered, but suppose they do not believe me or listen to me. Questions for a flame of fire out of a bush. How will my people recognize me, a mumbler raised in the style of hunger, revivals, landlocked travel, long stretches of porch talk to tell time by as their prodigal, their little, their follow and watcher of cues? How will they know me? by how I press my face to the floor to behold my elder, my similar bone structure softened by age while I strain to raise myself upright. How will they judge my open palms, clutching or generous? Will that emptiness translate? Will we require a looping glance to confirm intent to look away? Is this a gesture of tenderness, a scar? Should I hold back? What gift of patience would they accept as winged, not perused, nor stolen? How to present it as somber, as joy? What sign wired together, wrapped in foil, surely checked upon by someone who is right? When does our silence resonate? What honorary suffix, or when I stutter, should someone else speak to apologize, to clarify? Should I interrupt or answer, or should I reach across the lacquer table of cakes, grasp their hands, and guide them to my face when they hesitate, uncertain how, where to go, or what to do next? Uh, that was Jennifer Kwan Dobbs. Um, from her book Paper Pavilion, and uh, I hope if you've liked, uh, well, I hope you enjoyed the poem. If you like this video and like this reading, please give it a thumbs up. Uh, subscribe to this channel. Uh, just click that little bell there in, below this, and uh, you'll get new content every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday. Um, I enjoy doing these readings, and I hope you enjoy uh, listening and experiencing these poems. Hopefully, discovering some new poets and new voices. Um, a new poems that you might not be familiar with and um, perhaps that translates into you reading more or into you writing more or just thinking more about the world and um, how we engage with it in language um, so until next time i hope you do well and are well uh, stay healthy uh, stay wise in your use of time and resources um, and be anxiously engaged in doing those things which can bring others and yourself um, happiness. Um, I believe really that um, this is an opportunity and a gift for us to, to really reflect on what it is that we do um, as writers, as readers, as, as people in the world um, that can bring light and bring, um, bring beauty into uh, moments where people are struggling. And if we are struggling, that we can find joy hope, um, inspiration in, uh, in sort of the struggles and the writings of others. Um, so until next time, um, take care and uh, we'll be back again soon uh, with more poetry. Please let me know if there's anything you would like to see or hear. Um, I'd be happy to read more and share more in future episodes. Until then, bye.